Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, we are going to start a stack, stack data structure, and we can say stack ADT abstract data type. And we are implementing this stack ADT using Java syntax. See, first of all, what is a stack? What is stack? It is an algorithm. It is an algorithm. Uh, we can say it is a data structure by which we can store the data and what rule it follows, a simple rule. It follows a rule that is last in, first out. Last in, first out is a rule. The data structure. See here, so how can we implement and what is ADT? What is abstract data type? Means, as we know the concept of abstraction in Java. Abstraction in Java. What is abstraction? Here it is a, just only declaration of methods declaration of methods no logic actually suppose here add method is there add is a method it is taking two arguments it is taking two arguments like int comma int int comma int and it is returning integer is returning integer generally whenever we are defining in the method how we are defining it is taking two values into x and y suppose two variables we are taking and inside we are adding adding both x and y and that we are collecting into a variable called z z is also integer type and finally it is returning that z this is called definition of a method but here it is a no definition only declaration we will not we will not define the logic only just this one and here before we are placing abstract before we are placing what abstract this is here abstract means what 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 a method can do that will explain but how it is doing it will not explain simple example whenever we click on a shutdown button the system will power off but how it will power off what logic they define how it shut down the system that they never explain that they never explain that is so simply abstract also the same thing see there is one method called add it is taking two integers and it is returning int where is the logic is not there abstract data type means what same ADT ADT means what ADT means what abstract data type means what set of declarations nothing but methods declarations so we can implement implementation is important more clearly ADT you can call it as an interface in in Java interface contains only abstract methods a set of declarations are present that we have to implement any class you can use with the help of a class we can implement here it is our discussion about a stack what is that stack last in first out diagrammatically if you want to if you want to understand with the help of one one array only we are declaring here it is a stack implementation in two ways stack can be implemented in two ways in java one is a static static means what the size is fixed the size is fixed 
second one is a dynamic dynamic means what size varies size is not fixed size varies we will see one by one first of all is a static stack or dynamic stack static stack means what we are representing we uh, clearly we can fix the size using arrays dynamic means what we are using classes whatever the way we are implementing stack here it is what is that stack means here just a representation of stack like this representation of stack and here any size you can specify if it is a static and but and if it is a dynamic it will increase and decrease automatically automatically it will increase and decrease this is what we call a stack either you want to insert the elements or if you want to remove the elements insert we can call it as a push the technical term is a push element and next if you want to delete element the technical term is a pop the element whatever the operation you perform everything we should perform from the top we are inserting element it will go down like this and it will stay here and the next element if you want to insert it will stay here and in the next element if you want to insert it will stay here it will stay here like this and if you want to get the element what you inserted first that will come out i mean what you inserted last that will come out first nothing but it will come out first next it will come out and next it will that is called last in first out is called last in first out what you inserted last that will come out first and all the operations we can perform using top from the top only we can perform insertion and deletion operations so more clearly how elements will store and all we'll see along with the functionality and here what are the functions simply as an abstract data type we are checking stack adt here it is suppose if you take one class or you can say directly interface interface name i am giving stack adt abstract data type and it contains only specifications contains only specifications what are the specifications push element into the stack next one pop element from the stack and next we are checking stack is empty or not and we are checking stack is full or not and next one peak one function is there peak peak function is there and next one traverse means what display the elements what all these things push function means what what is the element you want to push that you have to specify that you we have to specify nothing but push element on to the stack and it is not returning anything after push void pop means what remove remove the last inserted element is nothing but we can say removes the top element from the stack it rem it returns that element that return type is element or based on the type the data type we need to specify sir i can fix the data type suppose integer element and the return type is the same integer element only yes we can and it is checking that stack is empty or not check whether the stack stack is empty or not if it is empty it will return true if it is not empty it will return false boolean and full also will check stack is full or not what is the difference between peak and pop pop means what remove the top element peak means what just return the top element returns top element but not remove but not remove so return type is integer traverse means what display elements display all the elements of stack 
and here it is not returning anything directly it will display. So, this is the stack ADT interface. Here ADT means what abstract data type, here only specifications are there, declarations, interface methods are by default abstract and public in Java we know that by default abstract and Java. So, that is why explicitly I am not specifying only specifications I am writing. So, whenever we are implementing, so one by one, one by one all the functions we should implement. This is interface. In the next video, I am going to implement this stack ADT. First of all, static stack, fixed size using arrays. Next, a dynamic stack using classes and objects. I will explain. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.